Question number 16, May, June 2013, um, paper 2, variant 1. And we're told about a water pipe which has a circular cross-section. Okay, and it has a radius of 0 0.75. And water throws, sorry, water flows through the pipe at a rate of 16 centimeters per second. Calculate the time taken for one liter of water to flow through the pipe. Okay, now what, they've noticed, what you notice here, one liter is a volume. Okay, this is a volume of water, right? And one liter in centimeters cubed is 1,000 centimeters cubed. You're supposed to know that, right? You're supposed to know one liter is 1,000 centimeters cubed. They didn't tell you that in the question. All right. Um, you have a circular cross-section, a pipe with a circular cross-section. So I'll draw a circle and I'll draw... Try to draw a pipe. Okay. Now this pipe has a radius of 0 0.75. So the radius is 0 0.75 centimeters. 0 0.75 centimeters. That's the radius. Okay. And it says the water flows through the pipe at 16 centimeters per second. 16 centimeters per second. Now this is a length. It's not a volume, right? So that means every one second, every second, you have this length of water flowing through the pipe. So you could say that in one second, okay, this is the volume of water flowing through the pipe, okay? It's like the shape of this cylinder with a height of 16 centimeters and a radius of 0 0.75. So we can try to find the volume flowing through the pipe in one second. In one second. Right? Now we know the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. That's the volume of a, a cylinder. Right? That's what we know from, that's what we have to know. That's not given to us in any formula or anything. Right? And this volume of cylinders or prisms we're supposed to know. And remember, it's like a prism, so it's a circular cross section times how deep it goes. That's what that comes from. So you've got pi times r, which is 0 0.75. You've got to square that, pi r squared times 16. That's the volume of this cylinder. Okay? Um, we've got to be very careful as well. That's centimeters. Okay? And that's in centimeters. And that's liters in centimeters. So all the units are compatible. So it might have had, for example, the radius in millimeters or the length in meters. So you've got to be careful that the, the units are compatible before you use it. Okay, so now you've got 0 0.75 squared, which is, that's basically 3 quarters squared, 3 quarters squared, which is 9 over 4, 9 over 16, sorry, times 16, so it gives you 9. So the volume in one second is going to be 9 times pi, okay, centimeters cubed per second now. That's a volume now, right? That's 9 pi centimeters cubed per second. I'm not round, rounding it to any value because it's not our final answer. And we want to keep things accurate. Okay? So that is the volume flowing every second. It says calculate the time taken for one liter to flow through the pipe. Now, how do we do this? Just think about, imagine you had some sort of container. Okay? And say this container was, say... Uh, 10 liters and you are filling up this container and every second you are filling it up with 2 liters how many seconds would it take for this to fill up? 5 seconds you take the volume of the container divide it by how much water is going into every second it will tell you how many seconds it will take to fill up so here we want to find out how long will it take one liter of water to flow through the pipe. So we take the volume of water that flows through the pipe, we divide it by how much flows, the volume that flows every second, which is 9 pi, and that should tell us how many seconds it takes, okay, for that volume of water to flow through the pipe, right? So we do 1,000 divided by 9 pi. So 1,000 divided by 9 pi. 
Make sure that you type the right thing. Always make sure you type the right thing in your calculator. So 1,000 divided by 9 pi gives you 35.367. 35, 35 point, 35 point 367. And that is in seconds. That is in seconds. Okay? Why is it in seconds? Okay, because this was... Um, the volume flowing per second, right? So this is a centimeters cubed, that was centimeters cubed per second. The answer is going to come out in seconds. It says calculate the time taken. It didn't give you any unit or any rounding instruction, so you write it for 3SF, which is 35.4 <coughs> seconds, and there is our answer. Is that clear, mister?